Hello everyone, this is Ron at LaRusso Gardens. About nine, ten days ago, when I got home from work, I saw a big cloud of bees. It turned out to be a really big swarm in my backyard, and I made a video of me capturing it into a hive. This is the hive right here. This video is going to show you how quickly a swarm can build up a hive from basically nothing. I think there was only maybe one frame in there that was drawn out. All the other frames were just undrawn and needed to be built. I caught this swarm way down there at the other side of the yard, all the way back there. Um, I checked my hives. I'm not sure if it had swarmed from this middle hive. I checked them. I found a queen in this hive and a queen in the other hive on the end, but I didn't find one here. Doesn't necessarily mean this was the hive. It had plenty of bees in it and it was fresh eggs, so there's definitely a queen in there. So if it did swarm, there's already a new queen that's laying eggs. So this hive is all back to normal if that did happen. <clears throat> so today, in this video, I'm just going to do a hive inspection and show you the frames to show you how quickly they've already built up. I got a tripod now that was gifted to me by my friend, so I'll have two hands to make it a lot easier so I won't have to keep pausing it and doing this and doing that. It'll just be a little easier. So I'm going to place this down, try to position it best as possible, and we'll get going on this inspection. Looks about right. All right. That was easy enough. On the established hives, this stuff would all be stuck together and take a lot, of, a lot more work to get those to break free. Just place those off to the side. happens is the bees use propolis and seal up everything so right now I'm trying to get the top cover off and it's all stuck together there we go so once the top cover comes off you can see they're already building this is all new comb that they've built from nothing just resources they gather and I'm looking right now there's a they did a lot of work so far now Whenever you do an inspection, you want to start at the end. You never want to just pull from the middle because then you're going to roll all the bees off. You want to make you pull from the end. There's always a little bit of a gap of space so you don't kill any big kill any bees. Open it up. As you can see, this was a bare frame, and they built this all up already. This is all new comb. Look right in there, they're storing, already storing nectar and pollen. I can't really tell how that's showing on the screen. But what I do is the first frame I take out, I set off to the side. That way you have a lot of space to work with. You don't squish any bees in the process. Another thing I forgot to mention is with every frame is you want to make sure the queen's not on it because you don't want to set her aside and have her fall off of the frame and then you lose the queen. When the queens are all full of eggs and laying, they're too heavy to fly. So if it was to fall off, it'd have trouble getting back to the nest. I do not see her on here. But she's a marked queen. She had a blue dot in her, so she came from somebody's hive. Most likely one of mine or someone close by. Alright, so this is the second frame we're going to pull. I'm starting from left to right. Oh yeah, they've been busy. There's another frame all drawn out. Now they're storing honey and pollen. I haven't seen any eggs yet or cap brood. I'm 
just trying to locate the queen so I can show you what she looks like compared to the normal worker bees. And I don't see her on this frame either. And this will be the third frame. Now this is a 10 frame Langstroth hive, so there's 10 frames in each box, you can see. And I smoked them before the video, so they're nice and calm for right now. But that doesn't last forever. Just try to be as quick as possible. I try not to smoke them too much, just a few little gentle puffs of smoke. I don't see the queen in here either. Still no eggs. Oh, here we go. If you look right in the middle, it goes right here. You can see that's cap brood. So the babies come out from here. This is honey they've been storing. So if you look, I'll do a little. That's all honey right there. I still haven't found the queen yet, though. And if I find the queen halfway through, I'm just going to show you guys the queen and wrap it up. When there are new hives like this, you want to just. Don't really mess with them at least, at least if possible. You don't want to keep smoking them because every time you smoke them, it slows down production. Yeah, she's not on this frame either. Now this next frame is the only frame I had in there that was drawn out. So it was a lot easier for the queen to just start laying some eggs as soon as I made the sp put the uh, swarm into the hive. Oh, yeah, you can see all that. Yeah, that's all covered with brood. I see fresh eggs in there. I might have to smoke them again. They're starting to get a little uh, jumpy. Now they'll send out guard bees that'll start bumping into your face, and that's when you know they're starting to get mad again. And they need a couple more puffs of smoke. Still no queen though, I haven't found the queen yet. And a lot of times, there's so many bees that sometimes I know there's a queen and I still can't find her. That doesn't mean she's gone though. It's like 10,000 bees in here, yeah, they're starting to get anxious. I'm gonna smoke them again one second. a couple puffs right over the top and then do one right in the front that's all you gotta do and check this is the fifth hot fifth frame I believe yeah they built all these frames up already it's crazy Still no queen. And uh, usually you're supposed to stand behind the hive. I'm in front of the hive. They're all getting congested trying to get into the hive from in there. So I'm going to move over a little bit. This is the sixth frame. no queen she's gonna make me work to find her I can tell already and just be very careful just try not to squish the bees
I'm very happy with these bees. They're very friendly. I've had some hives in previous years where you couldn't even get 10 feet within the hive, not even touching the hive, and they'd start stinging you. Even after smoking them. So that's why I try to make sure my bees are as friendly as possible. Sometimes if you have a really mean hive of bees, you're going to want to requeen her with a friendlier queen. One hopes that she's friendly, and there's no guarantee. This hive's built up really quick. I'm going to have to add a second brood chamber next weekend, I would imagine. Maybe even sooner. Still no queen, jeez. And I very well could have looked past her. Even though she has a blue dot, it's still hard to find. A lot of times the other bees will crowd all around her and you can't even see her. We've got two more frames left. I found fresh eggs, so there is a queen in here. She is laying. I really wanted to find her to show you guys. But that's not always guaranteed. Yeah, one more frame. Let's see what we got. Put this right here. And there's been several times I found the queen on a, on a frame that wasn't really even drawn out, and you would never think she'd be on there, and there she was, just walking around. So this is the last frame, and I still don't see her. go through these frames real quick one last time sorry if I'm not talking so much I'm just trying to concentrate and find the queen if you have any questions just leave them in the comments I'll get back to you I'm usually pretty good on spotting her so hopefully we'll find her Still nothing. I'll laugh, she's probably in the first frame I looked at. Didn't even notice her. Still nothing. Like I said before, I'm sure she's in here. There wouldn't be fresh eggs if she wasn't. to go. I really hope I can find her. I want you guys to see her.
Still nothing. Yeah, like on this frame, I'm not sure how good the camera is going to be to show it, but oh, I found the queen. Here we go. If you look at her, she's in the top left corner with the blue dot on her. She's trying to get away now. She's camera shy, but you can still see that the, she has a long. Where'd she go? I lost her already again. She's quick. You got to keep it good. Oh, there she is, right on the corner there. She's got the blue dot with the large rear end compared to the smaller worker bees. And all she does is lay eggs all day long. So this is a fully established hive now. All the frames were drawn out. This is a successful swarm catch. And it's a whole new hive. Um, I'll go easy on taking honey from it this year. You try not to take too much honey on the first year. You just let them get established as best as possible. That way, they have plenty of uh, resources for when the winter comes. All right, so that's it. I just gotta grab that one last uh, frame that I took out to begin with. That was a successful, oh, I just got stung in a leg. That was a successful uh, hive inspection. Hope somebody learned something today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a nice day.